here are some free body diagrams for centripetal force. Just so we can cover a, a number of samples quickly and you can get the equation you need to solve for it. So let's start with the first one. This is a piece of rock tied to a string that's tied to the ceiling. And I held a piece of rock here and it's swinging this way. So even though it's not going in a circle, it's going in part of a circle. For that second or whatever that it's going in a circle, centripetal force applies. So let's take a look. For this one, is there gravity? Yes, there is. Is it sitting on a surface? No, it's not. Is there something pushing or pulling on it? Yes, there's a rope pulling on it. Is there friction? There may be a little air resistance, and that would be opposite to the way it's moving. At this point, it's moving that way, so there might be a little bit of friction that way. We're going to ignore that. Okay. Is this object accelerating? Any object going in a circle is accelerating. This is going in part of a circle, it's accelerating. Which way is it accelerating? It's accelerating up, so up becomes positive. So what's the equation that governs this? Fa minus Fg equals Ma. That's the equation that governs it, but it's going in a uh, circle, so this is Mac. You substitute in there v squared over r, 4 pi squared r over t squared, or 4 pi squared r f squared. But this is the equation that governs this motion. And if I look at my diagram, it's accelerating up, there's more force up than down. How do I know it was accelerating up? It's accelerating towards the center of the circle in which it's going, and that would be there, up. Let's look at this one. This is like a tether ball. There's a post with a rope and a ball under a rock, and I swing it, and it's going around this way. Is it going in a circle? Yes, then centripetal force rules apply. Let's draw a diagram. Is it sitting on, is there gravity? Yes, there is. Is it sitting on a surface? No. Is something pulling on it? A rope. That's the applied force. Um, is there friction? Well, friction would be opposite to the way you're moving. At this point, it's coming out of the board, so any friction would be into the board. I don't have to worry about it. Um, is it sitting on a surface? No, so there's no normal force. These are the only two forces that are acting on it. Is it accelerating? It's accelerating towards the center of the circle. This is what it's doing. I know it's held up here, but the circle it's going around is here. The center of that circle is right there. So is it accelerating? It, at this point, it's accelerating to the left. On this side, it would be accelerating on the right, to the right. So it's accelerating to the left. I got a force at an angle, so I have to make x and y axis and split this force up. Fax, Fay. Fa doesn't tell me anything about this. It's this one that's important. Is it accelerating? Yes. To the left? Is there more force to the left than to the right? Yes, because it's this. It's not accelerating up or down, so this must be equal to that so that the ups and downs can. So what's the equation that governs this? F net equals MA. So I got all the forces in the x direction. FAX equals MA, but it's going in a circle, so it's going to be one of my centripetal force, centripetal acceleration equations. V squared over R, 4 pi squared, M R T squared, or whatever. This is the equation that governs this free body diagram. That's what I'll use to solve for it. This one's a little strange. It's a piece of wood cut in a circle, and I put a rock on it, and I spin the piece of wood around like this. If there's not enough friction, the piece of rock is going to slide off the table. But it's right now it's being held there, so there must be some friction. Okay, let's do the same thing. Is there gravity? Yes, there's gravity. Is it sitting on a surface? Yes, it's sitting on a surface. Um, is something pushing or pulling on it? Uh, not really. There's no rope. There's no hand and there's no motor, so there's nothing pushing or pulling on it. Is there friction? Yes. If that thing was moving like this, or out at this point, it would slide or tend to slide a straight line which would mean outward, so friction must be towards the center. You need something towards the center to keep an object going in a circle, and that would be friction. Is it accelerating? Yes, it's accelerating to the left. Why is it accelerating to the left? Because the center of rotation is here, and that's to the left. So it's accelerating that way. All right, it's accelerating to the left. My force to the left is, 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 is bigger than anything else, so, so it's got force to the left. It's not accelerating up or down, so these two must cancel out. And my formula, 
F net equals MA. So I have all force and direction of acceleration. Force of friction equals MA, but its centripetal acceleration is going in a circle. V squared over R or the other formulas. So there's the formula that governs that. If I want to know anything about this, I can calculate it using that. Let's do this one here. This is an object on a Ferris wheel ride. So you're sitting on a Ferris wheel that goes around in a circle. You are going in a circle, so the rules of centripetal acceleration apply. Let's take a look at it. Is there gravity? Yes. Is it sitting on a surface? Yes, you're sitting in your seat, so there's a normal force. Is there friction? There might be a little friction, but I think we can ignore it. It's really these two forces that are doing all the, the making going in a circle. Um, is there a, a rope or anything? Is there an applied force? There's no rope attached to you, you're just sitting on the chair. So it's the normal force and gravity. Is it going in a circle? It is going in a circle. It's going around in a circle. When it's at the top, the center of the circle is there, so it must be accelerating towards the center of the circle. It's accelerating down. So I'm accelerating down. Down is positive. Then the force down should be bigger than the force up, so the normal force should be smaller. And if you were on that Ferris wheel, when you got to the top, you would feel lighter. That's because the normal force on you is less. Okay, so what's the equation that governs this? F net equals MA. So FG is positive, because it's down. Minus FN equals MA. But it's going in a circle, so it's got to be centripetal acceleration, d squared over r, 4 pi squared, m, 4 pi squared r over t squared. This is the equation that governs this one. I can solve for anything using that equation. So every time, draw a free body diagram, label the direction of acceleration, come up with the equation, and you can solve for whatever you need.